go. So it says here, uh, the avoider kshavonis kinesis the mem yesh ne pa mem. So I, 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 the way he wrote it, the mem. Okay, but it's the kinesis of the mem. So he says the chasadim of the mem. There is a remnant of this in the word alecha shall pasuk yawir, and also in the pasuk yisa kaniska. Now I just told told me something. I was I was uh, duchening this morning, and uh, I knew that this was coming up, but I didn't know exactly what it referred to. So he says there's a reference. Okay, he's going to explain it, Kaniska. So he says that we're also talking about them when we get into these other two pesukim. We're also talking about the mem that has to do with the chasadim and elsewhere. So let me explain this. This uh, I'm trying to get into this. Is that we said before that the the name of Vayi it says uh, Yivarecha Hashem that's a mem there, then it says Yahweh Hashem that's another mem, then it says Yisa Hashem that's another mem, but on the other hand with the word Alecha which is later on down the line also refers to that mem, so how is it that we're having it twice? So Kamosha Kasav Deshayesh Kavanda Bezad Teluya. Because this really depends on the Kavana Shliach Tzibor, Ba'ani Ve'eni Zochra, and I don't remember it. Now, I'm not sure what he's talking about. So let's go to the Tiv and help us out. He says, Chutz min hamuach ha-gavuros de das, with the exception of the gavuros de das, mitzad halama de tzalem, which has to do with the lama de tzalem, that was a Shehu Madrega HaYosef Tachtoyne, which comes from the Tzibor, I think, the Kulam, the Seder Madrega Zamochim, Hei Metata La'elo. So let's say what the bottom would be, if you want to know what the lowest one would be, the most bottom part, because we start from the bottom going upwards, like Malchus up towards Geser, like that kind of idea. So he says here the Lamed is going to be the lowest part of the of, of, of Gavur, and he explains, La'elo, the Gavuros, the Das. So that's be the lowest level would be the the lamed of the gavur of the das. Then the next is going to be the chasad of the das. So then he says the gavur of atzman the gavur of themselves yesh bechinas mem detzalim. So there is a mem detzalim and the side there's a mem and a lamed on on all of the different mochin. Ubetevus halamed shuhu yosit achtoyna and also the lamed which is the lowest level. Nimsa the lama de gaburos who hamadrega ha yosef tachtoyne v'kulim. So he wants to say that the the lama represents the lowest possible level. Uh, okay, and so therefore lo near mezuch of fida b'shar from the chashar table. So therefore, there's no reference to it in the other words of the pesukim, which come from the words alecha and onwards in those two pesukim, because the pesukim are yoer hashem hashem panav alecha. And then there's another one, Yisra Hashem, Pana Valecha. You have the same same phrases. So over there we're saying that the Alecha really refers to the Mem of the Chasadim. And let's see where I, it may be the Mem of the Gaburos. So you're going to say it again, so let's see how it goes. That's when that Moach comes in. That is the Lamed. That is that aspect of the Moach of the Gaburos is the Lamed that comes in just in that place in between our bracha and what the kahal is supposed to say. Shehem v'yadabah, and these are the words that the kahal is supposed to say. V'yadabah Hashem al Moshe, that daber el Akron. So all of that pasuk is supposed to bring in, that brings in the lamed of the gavuros. Shetzrich and the the kaber ba'oz vav min, and he says specifically, now uh, this, this is the part that I probably mentioned previously that I once wondering what it was doing here because you see it a lot in different places. He said because the letter vav it comes from the first is the first letter of the phrase via daber, bechem beos dalud min min daber min daber from the word daber which is the first word first letter of the second pasuk shehem be gematria sara. So if you take vav and dalud it makes the number ten. The remez the asos gavuras the lama the tzelim. 
So this is the remis. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Let me get my light over here. I can make my help. So he says. So he says. Um, uh, so that's what he wants to say, that there are ten gaburos of the Lama de Tzalem. Uh, that this is, comes in, all of these ten come in, and we know this from the first letter of the two pasukim. That's what he says. So there's a shefa on this also. Let's go over to Pei Dawad. Where is Pei Dawad? Pei Dawad is, okay, I found it. So the question is like this, to compare, uh, let's see what the question is. Uh, so this is question, this question. So since we've explained that the Mem Ditzalem, so we already said that. So we said that the vials have to do with the uh, with the mems. So that's an easy thing to remember. After we get to the word uh, ponov, then it says alecho. Uh, the same thing. So what you're doing here when you're coming to the word um, ponov, and then what follows after it, which is alecho, uh, is to try to is to start pulling the new mochin that came in over to uh, what was already in there as a result of the of the first pasuk. So that all the rest of the, that is the pulling the, the sides together, is all referenced in the rest of the words of the pasukim. And they don't have to be referenced only in the names of the vayas. Now let's try to understand what his what his kasha is. He says that you already brought in the mem of the uh, 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 of the chasan and the das, and then another place we say that the uh, okay we haven't got to the yisa that you're going to bring in the the mem of the uh, uh, the oh. mem of the gravuras the das. Thank you. So so his the muach a mem the chachman near mazbatevis panav. So when you get to the word panav, the pasuk yoyer. So those two words right there. So he's showing, let me, I need to read, read it again for myself. He says, the Muach of Chochma, which is the Mem of the Chochma on the other side. I read it wrong again. The Muach of Mem the Chochma. So on the, that's the top part of Chochma. Near Mesbetevis Panav. When you say the word Panav, it means that you're, you're, Pointing out in some way specifying the mem that was already brought in. The Pasuk Yo, and then he says also, uh, that would be the mem that goes on the Bina side. Let me say this again. He says, you say the Pasuk Yisa. Now you come to the word Pasuk. Yitzhak Hashem Panav. There you got the word Panav again. So he says this refers to the Tevis Panav. The Pasuk Yitzhak refers to what? That's the men of uh, the men the of Gavuros of the Gavuros of uh, the men of Bina Bina. Okay, Umuach Hamem the Bina near Mez Betevis the Chal the Pasuk Yitzhak. So the Mem of Bina comes from the so the Mem of Chachma. That was what it was. The mem of chachma is referenced by the word uh, alecha, the uh, word pana, in uh, the first in in Yahweh. The word pana in Yisa refers to the mem that is in bina. So that's the question: is is that why are you pointing it out again if you already brought it in? So he's going a little bit backwards around the door to tell us basically that there's something else going on here besides that, which is joining them together. So we can ask the same question. So in the beginning it was it goes with the word uh, that brings in the mem on the chasadim. 
this bar shout yedecha kabana the shliach tzibor. So over there it explains that the kabana of the shliach tzibor is chazek haraso. It strengthens the light kamochem mochem acherim like the other mochim hanir mazer b'shem avaya, which is like avaya. So it strengthens the light in some way, just in the same way that the avaya did. Vim came kasha. So therefore, if it's doing the same thing and strengthening the lights, is that what we're saying? We're, I guess we're saying that when we focus on them, we're like brightening them. So now when you say the word panav, then you're brightening the mem that had to do with the with lasada. And when you say the word panav on the other side, I guess we'll see that in a minute, uh, it's going to bring out the the uh, the, the mem and bina. So if im came, kasha. So there, there becomes a problem. Ich kasher chosim the kavin al rasa the pasad the yar became the pasad the yisus so and you're going to go back and you're going to point them out again and illuminate them again. Near mezrak b'tevus alecho, so it's only really referenced by the word alecho. So he says, I'm not sure whether alecho got in here because I thought alecho should have been up above by the word panov, but. So he says, anyway, because I thought a panav, I thought that the pshat and panav was that that's when there is a turn towards the ones, towards the mochin that have already come in, or the, the tzalans already come in. So anyway, so he says, nirmaz rak betevis alecho. The matarath, the kevin shebemakam shesham iker zikirasan, the place where is really the root of where they're mentioned. Shub upon the rishon. It's the first time that you you said that, in other words, you said the stanzas themselves, just the first parts of them. Heim near Mazen B'Shem Avaya. So in the first time, they're referenced by the name of Avaya. And then he, he reviews for us. And he says, the Mem de Chokma near Maz B'Shem Avaya de Pasek Yivarecho. A Mem de Bina near Maz B'Shem Avaya de Pasek Yavir. V'chein a Mem de Chesadim, a Yedek HaGavod de Shliach Tzibor. So then the Mem of the Chesadim comes back again. You're going to do the Shliach the Kabana de Shliach Tzibor. So that kavana is really similar to what you had in the first place. So he says, So even though that we know that there's more references again than the other, the other words of the birchos uh, kahanim, but we're not fat, we're not concerned about the duplication. The kevet the sham enim boim b'shvil atzman because they're then not coming for themselves. They're not coming to introduce the mems into the into zeranpin. That's not what they're trying to do. What they're trying to do el the chazach rasim shayir elu be'elu. But rather, the point of illuminating them now is to cause them to come and shine into each other. Yecholim lehiyos near mazim gam b'shar tevos, and as a result of that, all the rest of the words of the pesukim could be referenced to this because now they're talking about tying them together in a way that they shine on each other. Originally, it was to bring them in, and now it's a question of that that we brought them in is is that they should come and shine on each other, and that's what happens in those two pesukim. So let's go on to the next part. Uh, wasn't as sharp as I'd like to be on that one, but let, we'll go on to the next and see how it goes. So, Kovon and Osefes Riyesh B'Tevis B'Chuneko U'B'Tevis Shalom. So these are the final words, and he says there's there's a special Kovonus over here. V'Hinecha B'Tevis B'Chuneko Asher Hi K'Neged Chachma Chachma Chachmas Hamem K'Nizka. So in other words, and Chachma is a man who means the men on the side on the Moach of Chachma. Asher he bechin zacher, which is male. The kavin lachashpir misham elzer anpen shuhu zacher. So then you should have the idea that here this man is going to shine into another parts of well, not another parts of, but the but it's going to shine into zer anpen, which is male. Aval b'teva shalom shehi kenegid bebina shal amem, which records the corresponds to the mem of bina. Vehi nekeva is female. So over there, you should have this kavana on these last two words. The kavan l'hashpia v'lohayr misham el anukva dezer anpin. So you should have this kavana that you're going to shine, pour out, and shine onto misham from that place el anukva dezer anpin. So we're saying like this is that specifically specific paths in the final words of v'chuneko is the concept that is coming from a male side, from the male side, that's which falling down the side of 
this Chochma, and it's going to spread throughout Zeranpin, and it's going to be the male side of Zeranpin. So then the other opposite is true on the Lord Shalom. So he said, of the Nimsa, it's probably important to, under, to remember this. The Nimsa, Mishne Bechinos Elo, Mekablim Ha'arazun, Ha'arazun, Zun. So therefore, from these two Bechinos, we see that there is this glow, that is this radiance that's coming to Zun. And so that everything we're explaining here, there are different, many different kinds of Gavanos that you have in the Birchus Kahan. So let's see uh, what the Tiv says. Number Kof Kof Aleph Pehe. So he says, Gavana on the Osefes Shiev Birchus Kahan Betebis Bichunako. So previously he had said that the general idea was that you were bringing in the mochim the tzad, uh, of the tzalim, of the lamed mem of the tzalim, into the into Zeranpin, in the four different mochim and the four different paths coming into Zeranpin. And we got that from the words of the Pesukim. Now he says it's an additional, uh, an, an additional kavanah. That kavana is when you get to the final word of the second stanza, which is vichuneko. So over there should is boyer la el sheba chodrim lechaber moach achoch mevizad the mem detzalim. So on this word vichuneko is also a part of the the idea of joining together lights to shine into each other. So let's go where it says yudal. It says sheba that in that chodrim lechaber you go back to join together. Inside the mem the tzelim that you're going to join together the the mem that's on the side of the tzelim of the chok side. So that's what that's what we had in mind when we said it pre first time. So in other words, vichoneko uh, goes along with joining the mem of the chasadim together with the mem that is in, not the chasadim of chokma with the mem that's uh, joining together with. Uh, with the mem of Bina. Now let me read it once more. is boil el sheba chodzrim the chaber mor hachachma b'tzad the mem that's on. Fine. Vahata yekaben od. Now we have another kavana. Ki mina chachma shuhu bechinas zachor bechinas abba. So that the, the male that chachma itself is abba, it shines down the right line into zeranpin. Yia nimshach shefa the zeranpin shuhu gam bechinas zachor. So then going on to the next one. Shalom. Also, the last stanza, when you get to the final word, is, is Shalom. Should is Boyer La'el, that comes explained up above. So we're going back and we're bringing that, that Muach on the side of the Mem, the Salem. Yakabin Ata, Od, Ki Mina Bina, Shihiba Bechinus and Nukba Bechinus Ima, so that it's a Nukvedik. So he says it's the aspect of Mima, Ima. Yihya nimshach, down the left line, nimshach shef of the nukva de zer anpin, and it will go to the nukva zer anpin, hashech habechinus nukva. So it makes it sound like the first pasuk, which ends in, uh, in, in uh, vichonako, is really referring to uh, the right line. And, yeah, and then yishmarecha is referring to the left line. Yeah, uh, wait a minute. Uh, vichonako is the mem of the, of the, of chachma. So Chochma goes on is, is masculine and Zeranfin is masculine. No, it's the deeper meaning of this I'm not sure, but the, and and the the uh, last word which is uh, uh, Shalom would refer to to Bina, which would be the the left line. So Bina, Gevura, and Hod like that, in the, and ultimately going into the Nukva. So we want to say that the stanzas one is male, male the second stanza is male, and the first the third stanza is female all right we know that from these words so that's the sh- that's a kavana that we could have in addition now we're on pay zion and pay zion says over and this now uh tables elo how the kavana works with these two different wor- words the bachunako vashalom, those two words, nimshach ha'ara no sephis, he wants to say that there's an additional amount of light that goes specifically either to Zeranpin or to Malchus. V'reb Shepha, there's also Shepha on this too. V'rein ayyadei kol ha'kagdamos elos, and now through all of these basic ideas, 
Yes, but our comma halachol shi'ef bebir kol kohanim al pi haso. Now we're going to explain a bunch of different halachols here that are generated from so. So let's go to the let's see number peches. Yeah. So now we're up above and we're going to go where it says yivoyer time of the milse. Explaining for the we're going to try to explain what's shot over here. And this is the, this is a uh, he has some discussion on this that they don't you can't go up to spread your hand she is small as a kind of odd she is small as a kind of until the person reaches a certain age which is usually 20. Oh, odd she here are 20 years old umaala and up above that. So what's what's going on here? Do you mean to say that your grandson can't get up there in Dukhan? I mean, what's he talking about? So he said number peches. So he says, and he changes slightly. So the atav evar v'so the halacha on his keres b'shulchan aruch, the inyan kohen. So we're talking about the kohen. He says afal pi esha shemaelo lo shemalo shemalo shlosh esrei shanim. Okay, that's it. That's it. Even though that a person has reached the age of thirteen years, v'yom echad. But the person at that age should not by himself be going up before the tzibor on a regular basis. Until you get to that age, or at least, even if the person doesn't have a beard, some people don't, uh, uh, until they reach the age of 20. But then, so this then he says that a person has to be 20, uh, it's not mentioned in the Shulchan Aruch, so he says what? Ulam Niska be Gemara and Chulan and Daf Kaf Dalad on the base, so, but it is in the Gemara, and you can see it over there, and that's the Halacha. Uh, so he said, but the Chidah of Mivayor Hatam, or let me see, we're in the right place still. Or we got to go down to Tzadi, okay? So the first thing he says, Mivayor Hatam, the Ein Kohen Noisa Kapov Adshia Ben Esrim Shana, that the Kov, you have to be 20 years old to raise your hand. The Kav and the Vibirchos Kahanim Nimshachim Amakipa B'Tzadab. What's the reason? Because the when you lift up your hands, you're bringing up the Makipim that come from the Abadik side. So what does that mean? The Nizboyer La'el She'enim Neknasim Tok Zer Anpin. But they only come into Zer Anpin Adshia Ben Esrim Shana until Zer Anpin, I think, is 20 years old. Okay, in Gam Ba'adim Metachton Ena Kohanim Nosim Kapechem Begavios Adshia Ben Esrim. So all that whole in, Indian about this contain, I know in the Yotzei Chaim it talks about the ages of Zer Anpin and you know how the ages go. Uh, it's a little hard to understand because uh, Zer Anpin is not physical, so it doesn't really have an age. But on the other hand. It does mean something, but I just don't know what it is. Let's go. Yes, you know, huh? A katan is not allowed to, to, to get up to Dachan with his father, Hashem uh, No, he didn't uh, say that. He was very, very particular okay. about it. Let me, let me okay. take you over here to uh, this place. Okay. You have to be 20 years or old. Uh, no, but the, the phrase is, let's go over to this, this um, first column. Let's mm-hmm. read the light print. So now you're is bar mitzvah. That's so That's by himself. Right. So that means to say that he'd be alone. He'd be the only one there. So he says ella ashi yismala zakano. So person have to has has to have a beard, the full beard. Person has the potential of a full beard, or uh, are 20 years, but that means like your grandson uh, is, or you know, let's say you have a grandson who's 14. According to this, he shouldn't go up by himself. But in a group, of course, it's mutter. And he says, what's the reason for it? He says the reason for it is because the lower man, uh, we are really a, uh, a duplication of Zeranpin. So therefore, what he does, or what happens to Zeranpin, and where the Mochin are acceptable to come into Zeranpin, and we can talk about this a little bit, he says that's the the person who has that same age, corresponding age, when the Mochin come into Zeranpin, uh, that 
that is the person that can actually bring the Mochim Makifim into Zeranbe, Mochim Makifim. Only the person that's like Zeranbe. Now, what is he talking about? He says that what happens is, is that when the Nai comes into Zeranbe at the age of 13 years and one day, so before that, Zeranbe was a cotton. So he only had six kitzvahs. He only had Chesedavur, Tveres, Netzachod, Yesod. And Malchus is attached to Zeranpin. So he only had the six kitzvahs. So therefore, he's always, that's that's the category of being a cotton, of a child. He is, these are called Mochim the Cottoners. Very important idea. So Zeranpin basically is, is that. He's a cotton. But on the other hand, when he reaches a certain age, and as he grows from the age of 13, and we see in different places different counts of when the mochin come in or exactly what part of them come in at different ages or some that hold. And we might have seen this, because I, I get mixed up where I'm seeing it. Uh, between 15, 18, and 20, those three times are times when mo the mochin are coming into Zeranpin. Now, once again, I said, like, they're talking about Zeranpin, is not physical. So we're not, obviously we're not talking about age like we have age. But on the other hand, he says that those 20 years are actually the template for our 20 years. That's what basically what he's saying. Because inside of us is that same thing. So Zer Anpin is the spiritual component inside. So he says that when Zer Anpin reaches a level of the Mochin are actually in, penetrated throughout all of his spheros, he's 20. Then he has what's called the Mochin of, of Godless. These are the Mochin of which I translate as as a superior consciousness of the fact that you know when bad things happen. I was just saying to myself because my wife's in the hospital. He says there's a phrase that says uh, "ain od milvado," very important phrase that I said to myself a bunch of times yesterday. Whatever is going on is coming from him. To have that ability to be able to see that takes this supreme conscious consciousness. So the elevation of this consciousness can only come in at a certain age. That's what he's saying. I was a to, to so so then he's saying something else about Birkel's Kahanim. What's happening when you're doing Birkel's Kahanim is you're bringing in Mohan the Godless, all of the Mohan the Godless, even the Makifim. You're bringing a tremendous, tremendous uh, uh, level of consciousness in, whether or not people can be Makabalit, you know, whether we have a Kavana for that, but that's what he's saying. So the child, before the age of 20, standing by himself, cannot bring in the mochins of God, all the mochins of Godless. Even though he could do some or partial it, and he certainly could be participated. You're talking about your six-year-old grandson who should be under the, the talus with you, you know, which is such a tremendous pleasure for him. But he won't be able to carry the ball by himself. Not until he's 20. That's what he said. So this is a side thing, you know. Look, look. Nobody has these kavanas but you and me right now <laughs> in the United States. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little uh, stressing a point a little bit. I think. What do you mean? I think other people have the set the proper the proper understanding. Well, just based on my experience, let's put it that way. Because what we're trying to do, what we really would like to do, would be able to turn people towards so. But apparently, this is all ain't no devado, devado. So this is the way Hashem wants it right now. Is that most people are stragglers and around, and most and most Jews are not affiliated with Torah at all, and that's bad. <laughs> yeah, but that's our that's our matzah in od milbado. So, okay, let's go to the next one. So we went through that. So we had a nice discussion on that part, and we have some ideas about it. So now we, uh, Yabor Inyan Miloy Hazakan. So now, so what's the big deal about this? And this is what he's talking about. You have to have a beard. For Inyan Miloy Hazakan, who, he ne noidish ain baza elotesha tikuni dikna bilvad kiniskeve in the rabbi bazuki. Now, uh, so that's what it is. Eric Anpen has 13 tikunim of his beard. And these are 13 different contractions of the light of the Ain self which allows it to be able to pour out and to be digested in the lower worlds. That's the, that's a, all these simsumim, they're 13. But the object of the pour really isn't the Zeranpin. The Zeranpin only has nine tikkunim. So that's a, so obviously he's, that's a part of the concept of the, of the shortness of Zeranpin. 
So by Idra Rabba, this explained in Idra, Idra Rabba and the Zuta. And he says like this, So it's, it has nine, so it's missing four tikkunim. So the only time that it's Zeranpin that you see that he actually picks up the other four, and this seems to be really critical to our thinking here, I probably, is that he needs to have 13 also, because the nine is not really helpful in terms of bringing Rahmanas like the 13 is in Eric Anpin. And Zeranpin is really Panimi to us and really generating Rahmanas to us. And so this is what you're trying to do. So therefore, these, these Makifim, when they come in, and they come into the side of Abba, that takes place apparently when at 20 years old. Because originally, in the place of the Mochim was shining, it was shining. So first of all, they're shining. He's going to explain this more. But then when you get to the Yavor, which we call Tachnun, Nivka Yisod Ima, the appearance of these tremendously powerful Mochim inside of the Yisod of Ima causes her Yisod to break open. And the Yisod of Ima is located in the Das of Zeranpin. So Ayyidecha Kinesis Oras Arabim Shalom Makifim because the Makifim are bountiful light, a tremendous amount of light. Shaaz, a Shain Koch be so the Ima the Sovlam, the Koch of Ima is not able to handle them. The Nitka, and she she uh, breaks open, the Yotza Oram the Chutz, and all of their light goes out. The Nishlomen, the Zer Anpen, and as a result of this, it flows into Zer Anpen called Shlosh Esri Tikuni Dikna. That's what causes him to develop the 13 Tikuni of his Dikma, Dikna. Kamo, she is Boyer Sham, the Indian Yavor, as explained over there in the Indian of Yavor. So let's come over, and now we see we're getting, it's getting a little thicker over here, and we're on page Samach Gimel at the top. So he said, V'ratam she'ena kachanim noisim eskepechem yechidim. So why a Kohen, Kohen can't do it by himself? So he's explaining they don't have the ability to be able to, to, to do this when you're too young. Zah only has nine tikkunim. So if you listen to Hashem Hashem, Kael Rachum Vachanum, Erika Payim, Rav Chesed, the Emes, Nolza Chesed, Nolza Abba, the Pechesha, the Nacha, the Abba, the Pesha, the Rana, the Rata, the Nake. Apparently, nine words there. But the upper part of the beard is missing. So he only has the lower part of the beard. And this goes along with the idea that I said before. This is that when, when Za is in a position of, of cotness, he only has six spheros. He only also has nine tikkunim in his beard. So we want to do both. We want to bring in the godless into Zeranpin, and we want to grow the beard, his beard as well. Hanir Mazim, he says that the reference to this is Ba'arba Chatevos of Yushanim Shosh Shlosh Esrei Shehem Shehem Shal Rachim and Shlosh Esrei that come from Zeran from Eric Anpin, which are Rachim Shehem Kale Rachim Chanum Eric. Those four letters, those four words rather, are missing from Zeranpin. The Kevin Shein Hazakan the Zeranpin this Malay because the Shlosh Esrei do Nitikuni Dikna. When does he actually have thirteen? Once again, we're talking about mystical years and mystical uh, concepts. He said, but it takes that amount of time in the mystical world for the beard of Zeranpin to become fulfilled. And the only way that this happens is by the bringing in of the Mekivin the Abba. Now, the Mekivin the Abba are going to be the most powerful Mekivin because we understand that Abba is inside of Ima in another sense. So therefore, it's really powerful. When they come in, and that, and that happens when we're dochening, so therefore we have a certain comparison we can make to people down here. 
Vainu kohanim rishoyim lisa kapechem bekaviyos. Now the kohanim kohanim are not allowed to lift up their hands bekaviyos. Kaviyos means all every day. You know, be the steady going at the at the shul. For lacham shekamekivim the abba rock adshi is mal is a kohanim. So therefore, you don't have rishos to do what their anfin can only do at twenty if you haven't reached that level. That's what he's saying. Now, once again, the idea of these years, I think, are if you have some ideas on it, it's it's he uses the word year in other places too. It usually refers to the spheres as their anpin, but I'm not sure how I would translate it into my understanding. Okay, so now it goes on. It says, Atam Ivar Ravzal, the Master Cost of the Ale, that what was written up above. The Bibirkas Kahanim Nishlam Hazab Shlosh Esri Tikuni Dikna. So this is how it done, it's done. That the thirteen tikkunim of the dikna of Zer Anpin can be can be done. Igra Hagavana the Sham who has Kalaso. So he says that where we have to see how it starts. Although in a Nishlam Rak Baesamir Shlosh Esri Midis the Yavo the Avor. So he wants to say that the entrance of the Mochim is the beginning of the whole dealing. But the actual use of the coming out of the spread out of the beard does not take place in Birkul's Kahana. So all of the preparation takes place in Birkul Skahanim, but the actual action, which we're, uh, if I got to remember to order the, the Rishas Siddur. I'm writing it down like it's going to help me. Okay, because this would be good. Because because the, the Rishash is, is, I, I, is the best. It's the best, uh, but it takes, you know, Take some work. So anyway, I don't order it. You got to get it first. Uh, during during Svira, we don't use the Rishash. Only in, we use the Rishash only in the actual bracha itself of Svira Sa'omer. But but during the, uh, this is the only time of the year we don't use the Rishash. Oh, not the only time. Yes, uh, it's serves to make true, but we don't do it either. But all the rest of the year we do. Uh, I'll send it to you, Mitzvah Shem. And Belin Eder, because I got to actually do it. About in the Nishlam Rak Be'es and Mirishlosh Esri Mid is the Yavor. So the only time that the beard actually becomes completed is in Yavor. Ben Yano Ki Be Birkus Kahanim. Then that expels it out. When you say the Birkus Kahanim, Nik Nasim Oras and Mekip into Abba. That's when the Oras are keeping the Abba coming. But Makom Amochin the Zah in the place of the Makom Amochin the Zah. When we talk about the Mochin that are coming to the Zah, Abba comes into the right side of his head. So when that comes in, then all these makif and the first thing is, it's they shine into the mochi and the zeranpin, to the, he says, the mochi of chachma, bina, and das, the zeranpin, which is his rope. In other words, it builds a head. That's what happens, it builds his head. Because you could look at, even though that zeranpin, in a state of continence, does have a rosh, he has a roach like a child has a head. He's had all the parts of, a, of an adult. But until you get to the age of 20, do you not have the brain power, apparently, to be able to receive Mokhin the godless of this, of the mem of Abba. Of, of Abba. So let's explain. The Chaba de Zer Anpin, Nislav Shibaso Chanai de Ima. So the Chaba de Zer Anpin are clothed inside of the Nai of Ima. So you remember the story was that, that her mochin evacuate and from most high come down the mochin that are designated to go into Zeranpin and they fill up the Nayavima. And now they're inside of the Nayavima. Ulam Acharkach, Nechlalam Kulam Badat Zeranpin. But after they go, after in that and they come into Zeranpin, they become a part of Zeranpin. The words are Nechlalam, they're included. Kulam, all of them in the Das of Zeranpin. So I guess he says that they all come into the das of Zeranpin, they're going down the middle. Shuhum aluvish the ima, which is inside of the yisod of ima. Once again, the das of Zeranpin is contained, which is a moach, is contained in the yisod of ima. Menis rabbi ma'oraz biyisod the ima, and then the lights, there's a tremendous amount of light then in the yisod of ima. Ba'achar kach be'ez amir is a shlosh ezri midos, and then after you're saying the 13 meters, Shalrachmin, Haniskar and Babasuk and Yavor, which are mentioned in the Yavor. So now you brought them in. You have these Mochim in there, then all the Mochim, they're all shining. And they're, if, I, I'm not sure that I understood 100% when he said they're all in the Yisod of Ima, but let's say they are in the middle of Ima. 
and they're going to branch out to the to the sides as well, I guess. And it's kind of a pesuk the avor. So now we're going to come to the pesuk of avor. Ayude ribui oros elu because now you have so much or inside of the light of the yisod of ima, which is inside of the das of zeranpin. Ain't cooked but you sold the ima the solvum that she can't handle the life that she has inside of her. And she remember she's inside of the das of Zeranpin. The Nivka ha you sold shalot of her so breaks open, the yote ha oras a shaba luchots and the lights that are inside of her go out. The yotem gama oras the shlosh asri the kuni dikta the erechampe the adarich. Uh so also was inside of all of those mochim. Now let me just read it close. The yotem gam. So what came out? It came out all all of the the shefa that was inside of the yisod of ima inside of the das is there anpin everything that was there came out. Uh, so he says, and these what came out the oros and the oros originally it came from the shlosh esri tikuni dikna de erik anpin because the erik anpin pour erik anpin pours into zir anpin and this is a time of gavos. Kamosh noyda de oros erik 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 because they surround Erich and they're clothed inside of it, so therefore inside of Abba, who is Makifim right now, is also Erich. And then through these 13 Tikunim of the Dikna of Erich, this causes the beard of their Anpin to become completed also with the 13 Tikunim of his beard. And that's it for today. I think it was enough to think about, and uh, we'll keep working on it. Well, we were talking about the synergy between the Schlepp, uh, the Schatz, uh, Kohen, and Sibor. Yes. Letters uh, as an acrostic to come up with uh, 420, which I think relates to the bias uh, Shannon. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah. Here, that's the way that it returns to it, but it, refer, it refers to something else. Uh, but wait, let's go back. How do you got the 420? Okay. The Shen from Shlep Sibor. Oh, you took the, the first Roshi Tevos? Yes, uh-huh, the Roshi Tevos, yeah. And then you have the Kahan and the, the Chaf, and then you have uh, the Kahal. Which is 20, which is 320. And then you have the Kahal, which is the first letter you want to say is Kuf. Okay. okay. There's, there's something else there. Uh, there's a deeper thought. Uh, is 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 the name of 42 letters. Uh-huh. Uh, 42 we see in a lot of different places, okay. uh, but 42 is really the on a, one of the easiest places to see it. There's three yads. That's one yad. Uh, but the easiest place to see it is in uh, the Anabakoa. Uh-huh. That that contains the name of 42. Right uh-huh. now, what the 42 is is the is the power, the energy to elevate. So where you see the the name of 42 is always between partsufim. So for example, Yitzira, pulling Yitzira up into Yitzira could be used the Anabakoach, because the Anabakoach is an olam Yitzira. Then there were three yads. There's three of three different types of ways to make 42, and each one refers to an aliyah up into one of the worlds. So if you say this regards to the 42, 420 years of the base of Middash, so you see the same idea. This is that as long as it was there, the ability to make the power of aliyah was there for all that time. Uh, but when the 42 was over, it left. So we call it destruction. You know, I'm not, we're not sure what it is. The Shrina went into exile. What it is and come back again, you know. So uh, th- that was my thinking about it. Anyway. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So that was interesting. It was a very interesting little thing you did that, and uh, we'll learn a little bit tomorrow. Sounds good. Call you well.